what is happening hello everybody welcome on in hope we're all having a good start to the week i know i am question mark no it is good because i'm streaming i'm <laughs> it's a late night stream <laughs> excuse me it's a late night stream we're building an amusement park in a zoo building game and yeah i have no idea who's gonna be here let me get my chat up to see who even decided to come to this random ass stream building a random ass thing in the game what's up ray how we doing buddy good to see you troy rackinator it has finally started there rack no worries <laughs> silver fox and Cebrus have shown up awesome both mods representing what is up my friends uh yeah yes we do we have the smooth jazz hour that's right i actually uh, i put on the wrong uh, what's up savannah good to see you buddy i uh, hope your voice is starting to feel better uh what is it the old remedy the was it hot honey, right? I think that's what my grandma always used to tell me. Uh, get like tea with hot honey and stuff like that. And yeah, whatever, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but um, yeah, I put on the wrong music playlist. Um, this is still all um, copyright free, but it's it's the ones that I normally put in the background of my uh, videos. So you can actually barely ever hear them. But yeah, so I, I put on the wrong playlist, but I'm like, whatever. We're gonna kind of jazz and chill it out there a little bit, right? So, um, but yeah, so welcome to, and I did the same thing with the uh, Europe Pack Mini Zoo where I, I streamed it before I actually had the first video go out. Um, and I'm doing the same thing here where um yeah welcome to benton amusement park um yeah i i made this announcement yesterday was it yesterday i was yesterday um on the community showcase stream that yeah i was building an amusement park and here it is <laughs> so yeah here at least here's the start of it right there's no rides or anything yet but uh yeah i'm gonna do a little bit of building um in the amusement park in the zoo building game uh today so again i from a content creator standpoint this could be absolute you know content creator suicide <laughs> but because everyone i can already see it. everyone's like why don't you just go play planet coaster and it's just different i don't know i've tried to play planet coaster a few times since jumping into planet zoo but there's just so many things that planet zoo does right not even just graphically but uh key uh the way that it handles uh the way that the menus are set up uh it's just planet zoo is just far superior in my opinion in almost every single way so it's really hard to jump back and forth and there are some people that can do it and i applaud those people because i cannot switch my brain off um from being used to the enhancements that planet zoo does have um so ah excuse me but um but yeah so if you did miss it yesterday i did announce that i was making this um amusement park because there's enough uh whoops i didn't copy over the right one there there's uh, two different things going on um there's enough blueprints on the workshop made by the awesome creators um silent member Simtanic, and oh, there might be one or two others we'll take a look at them today if i do use their blueprints um but yeah very very convincing uh ride blueprints before we get into those though uh here is the start of my little project so no, I did not just build these. That has not taken up the last three days of building. Um, although these little shacks, these little huts were a little bit uh, tough to get into scale. Cause that's a big thing too, is I'm really trying to get that uh, really small amusement park scale uh, feeling there. So if you've been to like a local amusement park or again, like a local almost fairground, just about like a step above a fairground, there's gonna be two coasters in this park. Um, one of them is a steel boomerang coaster and the other is a classic wooden coaster. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, that was not 
not the majority of the time spent. The majority of the time spent was on this infrastructure over here because I wanted it to start with the guests coming um, in a tunnel underneath of an interstate. Um, a lot of the parks that I'm looking at to influence this park off of are like parks like uh, Knobles, um, Lake Compounds, uh, Idlewild, a lot of Pennsylvania parks, a lot of East Coast, United States, classic kind of amusement parks, uh, some beachside, some uh, pier, some dockside parks as well. Um, so, and a lot of those have, uh, they're right up against the highway and they'll have the entrance, uh, you know, there'll be like a big old parking lot over here. I'm not building a parking lot for this so far. Uh, no, I'm not going to, no. I put my foot down yesterday. I about started the parking lot. I was like, nope. <laughs> um, so we're going to have the black void of spawning, basically. If you played Planet Coaster, and I think Planet Zoo does this too, kind of, but, um, Planet Coaster, they started in a mountainside with the black spawn of death, basically, or the black spawn of life. And um, I wanted to do the same thing with just a uh, tunnel. So we can kind of just picture that, you know, right behind here I have the uh, guest spawners. So when I do have the guests come in, they'll just kind of pour out of the uh, tunnel and we'll make believe, because uh, I'll probably fill this in with like forest, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Don't build a fucking parking lot, Drew. <laughs> I'm, I'm like yelling at myself like don't build a parking lot i'm all parking lotted out after doing um pine mountain sanctuary actually i haven't done one in a little bit maybe this time no no parking lot okay let's go forward so anyways <laughs> um so yeah if you didn't catch yesterday's stream let me show you what we have to work with here um as far as coasters go for sure is it zoomering yeah there it is so here's the going to be the most modern coaster that we have, and it's not even that modern. This would probably have been a, this probably would have been built, excuse me, in the I don't know mid '80s, honestly, like maybe early '90s. But yeah, here's the classic boomerang coaster. Drew had an internal struggle in the parking. I did. I really did. It was. It was. Uh, uh, thanks, Drew. I'm glad you like it so far. You want to make a coaster and plan like Boulder Dash? That would be awesome. That is the other thing. If we have some uh, talented or creative builders that would like to build anything for this park, whether it be um, coasters or flat rides, I am definitely down. No like buildings. I'm going to take on all the actual building part of it. But as far as like flat rides and um, maybe even like midway games, yeah, I'd extend it to like midway games or um, coasters. If you want to take that up, uh, do let me know. Um, because yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. Here's another thing we're gonna eventually add a little flat drop tower. Where's the other coaster though? Was it called Wildcat maybe? Yeah, there it is. This is by this is made by Silent Member. Well, both of these roller coasters are made by Silent Member. Uh, Silent Member was a really, uh, or is still a really big um, active member in the Planet Coaster community. Built a lot of amazing uh, builds, whether it's American inspired uh, parks. Um, also did a Chinese like knockoff park that looked really cool. Uh, but anyways, yeah, look at this. Can you believe that this is in Planet Zoo? <laughs> What's up, Debbie Do? This is not Planet Coaster. Can you believe it? This is actually Planet Zoo. <laughs> Somehow, people have gone off their rocker. And look, can you believe this? Sure, when you get nice and close, like you can maybe spot some of the like imperfections. But like, man, or not even. I shouldn't have even said that. There are none. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> uh, but man, this is just absolutely flawless. I love this so much. So that's going to be our main staple uh, ride for the uh, park there. So, anyways, what are we going to do today? The Zoomering, a tiny theme park near me, used to have one of the uh, the exact coaster. Oh, Troy, um, there are. I can't think off the top of my head, but I think just about every other park has one of those types of coasters. The Boomerang coaster was just mass produced throughout the, uh, again, like early 80s to early 2000s, basically. Um, so yeah, yeah, Dabby, isn't it pretty great? Yeah, people have um, gone crazy and built flat rides out of pieces and roller coasters. Obviously they're not working and the guests are not going to use them. But you know, I mean, most of the time when we were in playing in a Planet Coaster anyways, uh, we never had guests turned on because <laughs> they would suck up all your uh, CPU. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so isn't it great, right? Yeah, I love it. Yep, they did a really good job nailing that like classic roller coaster vibe. So um, first things first, I am was kind of in the middle of doing some research for the next thing to put into the park. I kind of know what I want to put into the park next, but um, 
I need to do some research first. So that's where we're gonna start. Uh, tonight we're gonna be doing some building, but I'm just gonna bring you along like my process essentially of like how I get going and like how I find what I want to build and all that stuff. Um, Cause I do have people ask like all the time, like especially on Twitter, um, you know, um, Savannah and Estee and they get these questions too. Like, where do you get your influences? Where do you get your, um, how do you build, you know, what you build and yada, yada. And we usually redirect them to Pinterest or Google maps. So yeah, I don't know. We'll just go through the whole process. Um, cause I don't fully have a, an idea. I have an idea, but I don't have an idea. So just come along for the ride. <laughs> Didn't know they were so popular? Yes, they were super duper mass produced all over the place. They were nice and cheap. They were very, very cheap to uh, produce. And the guests, the GP, the general public loved them. So again, this is what the entranceway was based off of. You can kind of see here's our uh, ticket booths here that I built and even the kind of tunnel a little bit. So the entire entrance area so far has been based on Lake Compounds. Um, where is Lake Compounds? Is anyone is this anyone's home park? How do you uh let me zoom out? I want to say Michigan? Oh Massachusetts, I was way off. <laughs> um so yeah, I, I built the entire entrance area based off of that, but I don't really want to do the rest of the entrance area um so themed up really, because um I really love how it looks, all the colors and everything, but I don't want it like this themed up really. So I was looking up different uh references to go off of. Um, before I jumped on here and I had uh, Worlds of Fun here. You all can still see this, right? Yes, cool. I had Worlds of Fun pulled up because I think that is a good one. I'm basically trying to think of uh, small Midwest to East Coast-ish um, parks and looking at their entrance areas and trying to get some little bit of influence or uh, inspiration from there. Like I love these, like these little kiosks and stuff. Like I probably would have used these as well if I saw this first. Um, I almost like these more than the ones that we used. But Connecticut, yeah, Connecticut has a lot of parks there. Yep, we get in here, oh cool. Okay, so I do, I like this, this setup right here. Because remember, we have at the moment, and y'all can see this, right? I'm like so off my game. There we go. So at the moment, we have the ticket booths. So now we do need like turnstiles to get in. So I do kind of like the way that this looks. I've, actually, that's I'm sold on that. Let's just, I'm going to go ahead and mimic, not recreate uh, this. I'm going to change the color. I don't like the green. I do like the white trim. And I, I don't really like how, um, I don't know what the word is, like alpine it looks. So we might change up the roof. A little bit we'll probably use plaster walls because that's another thing like when you're looking at reference photos and buildings like you should be able to see the pieces at least for me you should be able to like see the pieces that you're going to use so i'm probably going to use plaster um i can use the beam large beam right here for the little x's right here we can use um there's a piece that makes an x it, that should be pretty easy to do um we're not going to do this trim instead we're going to make it just straight i do like this little design right here so we can probably do that um, yeah, no, I, I like this. We'll go ahead and do that. And the table, yeah, that, exactly. And that's why looking at Google Maps, especially, especially Google Maps, um, is a great reference because you get to spot those little things. You would never think of that, right? You might think in your brain, if you're like not going off a reference photo, like, oh, I want to do, you know, an entrance kiosk with um, a ticket area, but you would never think like, oh yeah, like a little, table to put out for like security check or something you know like those little itty bitty details that your brain just kind of skips over it's based off thunderbird and holiday world so it's a launch uh wing coaster nice i've never been to uh, holiday world i would love to go sometime though love 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 to go oh you know uh i think i remember in blueprints was it john i think uh built What would you even call like a ticket? No. Turnstile. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, okay. Oh, these are the ones that John built. Or Mass Band. About. <laughs> Got too familiar there. Um, and those are good for an exit. We're actually going to use those. So I'm going to put those over there. But these are the ones I would like right now. Who made these? Entrance turnstiles. And this is made by, can you still see this? You can. This is from, uh, oh, Yure. Yure. Of course. There you go. So we'll give the, we'll give those a shout. 
if you need some entrance tur turnstiles. I hope uh, he comes back soon. I feel like uh, they haven't made content in a little bit. Um, but cool, yeah, let's go ahead and use this. Not exactly like that, but... Can I just use one? Ooh, not separated. That's okay. We can separate that out. There we go. And I'm actually going to get rid of the rest of those. Uh, cool. All right. Let's go ahead and start our building. I've used this song for like <laughs> three or four years now, I feel like. This has just constantly been a background bop for me. Oh, it looks like it's about one story, so let's do that. It's a groovy song, though. The same. Maybe we'll use the same uh, colors that we used, like, f on here. Like, that blue might look kind of neat. That's kind of baby blue. Or even the yellow? Let's do that blue. And maybe like a more pastel version of it. So just kind of... Yeah, there we go. Give it a little aging, right? Like a little sun aging. Kind of think about that stuff when you're... Like if you're building a park that's set over time. Like maybe it was set in like, you know, started in like the 1930s or something like that. And maybe some of those buildings have been around that long. Yeah, I think they, you know, wear out their paint jobs and all that kind of fun stuff. Get a little... Pale looking. All right, for roof, I am going to use mods for this build. So all the roofs are open. And there is a, I'm using, oh no, that's more of a European roof. I was gonna say I'm using, here it is, this roof from the European Midnight Pack. Um, looks really cool, but those shingles are not quite what I'm looking for. This, actually, that's probably it right there. I'll just use the, uh, was this Aquatic Pack? What a great roof that we got there from the aquatic pack. And the fact that we can recolor every single shingle is just like, oh! <laughs> uh, and we're just going to make it an ugly brown. Like almost that mid-century brown roof look. Oh, keep that white though. We will keep that white outline there. Just hearing about this makes me kind of want to go back to Alton Towers. Haven't been there in like four years. Keep going uh, till the upper my body gets ripped off by Oblivion. Um, so I know about Oblivion, and then you also have Nemesis, right? At Alton Towers, like the OG Nemesis. I know there's one there and one at Thorpe, correct? But the one at Alton is the one that goes through like all the trenches and stuff. Like that one, I've always wanted to go on. Um, why didn't it carry over the colors? But yeah, Alton, I would love to go to Alton and Thorpe and Blackpool. There's a few others, um, but I can't think of the name of them. Is it a... Oh. Yeah, I can't remember the names of them, but there's a few others. In the UK, I'd like to Troy as well. And then mainland Europe, there's a lot in Europe that I'd like to do. Port of Ventura. Um, oh, I can never remember the name of Energylandia in Poland. How's that look? I don't really like that orange. <laughs> I like how I said I want to visit a lot and then I enlisted two parks. Uh, I'd like to go to the uh, Disneyland Paris. That'd be fun. Yeah, this, this coming up summer, definitely need to get out to some more theme parks. Didn't get to go at all. Uh, oh, you know what? It's incorrect. It's actually a this roof. Um, yeah, no, we didn't get to go to any theme parks over this summer, this past summer, nor the summer before that for obvious reasons, but um, yeah, I would really, really like to go. It's coming up here. Hyperion looks good. Hyperion. 
That's that new uh, coaster at Energy Landia, correct? Hey, what's up, Basic Builder? Good to see you, buddy. Glad you uh, were able to stop in for a second. Oh, and by the way, if you got my ding a ding a ding a ding on Discord and you're wondering who the special guest might be, it's just S Dan. <laughs> it's just S Dan. So, you know, don't get like, oh my God, who is it? Excited. Because it's just S Dan. Yeah, that is. Okay, Ray. Yep. I was just basic. Are you are you down in uh you old why isn't oh there we go. Uh Florida? Or California, California way. I can't get that. Oh, because I hit Control D instinctively. Can I put that there, or does it come down? Yeah, it's gonna come down and move forward. Yep, right there. Right there. Wait. Got it. You went there last year um, to what is it? Salu, Salu, Spain. Top notch theme park. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. And um. I know that Energy Landia, speaking of, that's like a state, it's weird. It's a state run theme park. And like every single year they get like a crazy amount of new like rides and coasters and stuff. I think they have like a five year plan where the government is just like pouring in. It's through their tourism uh, dollars and stuff like that. But um, yeah, they're just like pouring in like hundreds of millions of dollars on brand new state of the art rides. Okay, so this needs to go uh, taller. This is insane right now. Very crowded. Yeah, I've, um, I just had a buddy that was down there. Uh, what was it? In the middle of fall when it wasn't supposed to be busy at all. Aha, I made a rhyme. I deserve a dime. Um, and yeah, he said even like during non-peak times, it's just like, just stupid. But I hope you're still having fun though. You know, hopefully... You and the, uh, I'm sure the kiddos are with you guys and everything. Hopefully y'all can still squeeze some enjoyment out of it. Animal, oh, it's my, um, second favorite park. Second favorite park. Except for, uh, Epcot's my first. Yep, then Animal Kingdom, then, uh, Magic Kingdom. And then Hollywood Studios. But I haven't been to Hollywood Studios in over 10 years since they added Rise of the Resistance and Toy Story Land. I don't really think I'd care too much for Toy Story Land. Um, I mean, it looks fine for what it is. It's just, um, I don't know. I just really, I don't think I'd really care for it. And I can't think. Oh, and then the other ride I've already been on in there. Oh, there's two new rides. Or there's two rides overall. One of them's new, the Smartian dash or whatever or the it's a spinning teacups ride <laughs> essentially um and then the other one is toy story midway mania which i have been on quite a lot of times quite too many times flight of passage three and a half hour wait for standby right now oh my god so how'd that work with um because they have the disney genie right that's what it's called or is it the disney lightning or whatever so how did that work with you guys? Did you have to like go through and do all that? I don't know if you have time to talk about it or not, but if not, just tell me. Shut up, Drew. I'll talk to you later. God. We'll talk about it later. God. Just super busy right now with Disney things. Do, 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 do. Basically, it's in a hella crowded Disney park in here in Toronto. We are entering our fourth lockdown on Wednesday. Really? Dang, dude. I keep seeing our numbers here and I'm like, maybe we should. <laughs> like, it's just kind of nutso butso out there right now. Oh, is this the wrong one? Wait. Oh, I can't because this is a peak, right? You can't do one on a peak. Or can you? You're being dumb. Oh, you can kind of can. I mean, you know what? Yeah, it just adds a little bit of an overhang. I just want a little bit of an overhang, you know what I mean? You'll be there in May! Very excited to visit again. Only been to Disney World once. Well, my friend, have a fantastic time. Are you able to visit all four parks? I hope you say yes. 
If you need any pointers from a cast member that has not visited there in over 10 years, <laughs> do let me know. I was just thinking about that the other day. Um, someone pointed one of their friends in my direction for pointers for a Disney trip. And I just realized, I was like, no, don't send them to me actually. <laughs> I I don't really have the most current up-to-date info anymore, which is sad to say. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I am not a good uh, resource really anymore. Maybe for the hotels? That looks kind of weird and stupid. I don't like that at all. Oh, because it's a one meter, not a two meter. But yeah, no, I just, I need to get back down to uh, the world. Honestly, I, I do want to go to land more. Um, I do love me some Disney World. It's my home, you know, used to work there, all that kind of fun stuff. Work, live, play there for almost two years. But uh, I need to get to Disneyland and visit Walt's original park because it just feels weird that I've never done that before. And it turns out after you pour a billion dollars into California's adventure to redo it, it actually looks like a badass park too. <laughs> Before they did that, I had no intentions of wanting to visit California's adventure. But then you have to, again, you throw a billion dollars at something that's bound to, you know, hopefully be pretty good. I mean, I shouldn't say that because they threw like a billion dollars at it the first time and it was like, oh, whose idea was this? Um, yeah, let's finish the building on the right first, and then we'll move left. Do, do, do. Yeah, but we aren't using it. We waited two hours for it. You're not paying for it. Good man. Stick it to him. You're doing all four parks and back to MK on the fifth day. Nice. Good. I'm glad you get to go to uh, Magic Kingdom twice. That's usually the hardest one to get all of the uh, rides in since it's so jam-packed. Just doing Animal Kingdom and, and Magic Kingdom. You're not going Epcot. Uh, I would switch out Magic Kingdom for... No, you have to go to Magic Kingdom. I'd switch out Animal Kingdom for Epcot, but that's just me. But you also like animals, so go see animals, I guess. But just remember what Joe Rody called Animal Kingdom. It's not a zoo. Not a zoo, get it? That was like the big marketing thing for um, Animal Kingdom. He wanted it to be not be known as a zoo, even though there's a bunch of animals in it. So the big marketing thing was it's N-A-H... T A Z U, not Tazu. Um, okay, so I need to put. Oh, those beams, yeah. These beams are so heckin' useful, and I can't remember when we got them. We may have. Oh, I saw plaster them. We may have had these since like beta or alpha. No, I think we got these with uh, Australia. But these beams are just so great because they don't have many markings on them and they take on whatever color you give them very well. Some of the wood textures. They um, they don't take on the color that you give them that well. It's kind of faded or it's kind of weird looking, which I guess is respectively so. It's just kind of supposed to be. They already got all my money. I'm not giving them any more. That's right. That's right. They already, you know, already cost an arm and a leg and a fish to get there. So it's still a half day park for you. There are a handful of great rides, but not enough to spend the whole day. Oh, really? Even with the addition of um, you know, Cars Land and all that kind of fun stuff? Interesting. See, that's how I feel about, um, or felt about at the time, was Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom, but that was before they added in Pandora and um, Rise of the Resistance and Toy Story Land, respectively. But... Oh, you can't change the color of this still? They should, it would be cool if we could change the breeze block as well. They just made it so we could change the um, the limestone, wasn't it? So let me look up a limestone one. But yeah, the breeze block would be another cool one to get flexi color. Oh, I'm getting stuffed up by talking so much. We have a little square pillar, right, for that? Ah, that's pretty close. Ah, it's not close enough, though, because I need to stack it. I needed the teeny tiny thing. Oh, damn, that's all the limestone things we have? Mother trucker. Motherfucker. Hmm. Whatever, I'll just use that breeze block thing. It was basically the right color. Do, 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 do. Is that it? Sorry, Max. I don't know. Don't call the policia, okay? You build a amusement park in, in Planet Zoo? Jail. You go right to jail. 10 points to whoever knows what that reference is to. 
What's that? You built something not, not animal related, not zoo related in Planet Zoo jail? You go right to jail. Now what am I going to use for this teeny tiny little bit right here? We do have those new, hello, cables. But I think it's a meter. Ah, it's a meter long. Do do do. What's up, ass dork? <laughs> Did you want to jump on uh, a qual? Cool? Yes, Silver Fox. Exactly that. <laughs> that's awesome. Carsley and only had uh, one adult ride. Yeah, this the racers. It's an awesome ride and totally worth it. But every other ride is more like a, a kids ride. Yeah, they're all like flat rides, right? Yeah. Yep. And um, the thing about Radiator Racers, Radiator Springs Racer, excuse me. Uh, while it does look awesome, and I would love to ride it, so don't get me wrong, is it's still like the same ride system as Test Track. I know it's like a different layout, I believe, but it is still the same like technology or whatever. Why isn't this turning? Here we go. You spin. Oh, you can't recolor this either, can you? Son of a biscuit! You late for your checkup, you go right to jail. <laughs> Fred Armisen is one of my favorite comedic actors. <laughs> uh, uh, help, help everyone. I need a piece that's about a bit this small. I could, oh, what if we do, that's recolorable. Uh, what if I do the smaller version of this beam? Two seconds. One, two. Oh, where is he? Um, shoot, that's not gonna work. You were wearing sweater? Go to jail. <laughs> ah, that's not gonna work, is it? Nope, that's not gonna. <clears throat> I know there's something in here. Oh, 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 the letters the lettering i had to do this oh yesterday yeah look at this look at look at look look at what you can do with the little itty bitty letter things I added in these little spokes there oh he's ready cool oh, i'm gonna funk with the uh the sound Pew. hello oh i can't hear you one second everything is wrong Down. I think it's my my end because my audio settings got all turned around the other day. Is that it? Hello? There it is. All right. Ooh, ooh. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, Drew? My music down so they can hear you. Cool. All right, but yeah, welcome into the theme park in the zoo game. This is blasphemy, Drew. You're I not don't, supposed to be doing this. Don't stone me, okay? You're gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> Look at this though, dude. These little 2D fonts, like the letter I, made little like spokes with them. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, like almost like a little lattice work type yeah, of yeah. deal here. I think that's what I have to use over here. Very nice. Very nice. How much? Very nice. How much? Finally, I stand uh, quits for words. Oh, he's not. Oh, is he quiet? Is he a little bit quiet? He can be a little bit louder. No, I mean I'm purposely being quieter because they oh. always make fun of me for being so loud. So oh, okay. I'm trying to keep it in check here. Oh, All right, Harry. <laughs> you asked for it, buddy. Ah. <sighs> How's work? <laughs> fine, fine. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> em Emmy did her uh, first day of daycare. They said she did good. Oh, did she? Oh, wow. Yep. Already. Yep, it was time for Casey to go back. After How 10 weeks. Okay, 10 weeks. I wish I could have got 10 weeks off. Yeah, isn't it your turn now? She takes 10 weeks off, you take 10 weeks off? Yeah, just sat here and like stream Planet Zoo all day. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like for 10 weeks. Seriously. Like if they could give me 10 weeks to take this serious and just stream, 
I would like do this full time and never go back. Right. Like if you can't do it in 10 weeks, you're, you didn't manage your time off well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that felt like me during the entire pandemic. <laughs> it's like, all right, I have all this time. Nope. Man, this teeny tiny piece right here. I can't figure out what to put right. This is just making me want Planet Coaster 2 even worse. I know. Because I get I I was on my way home and you said something at the uh at the beginning of the stream like I know people are going to say why didn't you why don't you just play Planet Coaster and you said it's not the same. And coming from somebody that has actually went back and started a theme park, it is exact it is 100% not the same. It's not the same uh layout, it's not the same feel. It's not the same lighting. Um, it's not as smooth. No. You can't build as fast. Right. Um, so it it's not as easy as saying, well, just go play Planet Coaster. You can't. It's just not, it's not the same. Yep, nope, exactly that. Um, I don't know, Which it's hard to explain up. unless you've like put in, you know, literally thousands of hours into both, <laughs> into like both games. But yeah, no, it's just, it's hard to go back and forth. Yep, yep. I'm not gonna be able to figure this out. That's okay. Blanco 2, yes, I know it. And so what is everyone's like bucket list for Planet Coaster 2? I, I feel like Essay and I have laid it out a few times, but like my big wants, I guess, or hit, hits would be, of course, the lighting system and all that fun stuff that we have in Planet Zoo. Um, I would like a parade route manager. I think mm -hmm. that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I would like water parks. I would like some kind of water expansion. Yep. Um, a Path modern rework. take on like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 soaked. Yes. Would you um, want them to add in animals? I guess not, because that essentially, I mean, I know we were always the people that would get mad when people say, that's what we have zoo, you know, planets. Yeah. Don't don't bring roller coasters into my zoo game. <laughs> but I kind of get it. It's like that we don't need, we don't need animals in a theme park simulator. I kind of get it now. Like that, that's what we have this for. I know there are people out there that would love to recreate like the Bush Gardens, uh, Tampa sure. of the worlds, but... Uh, you know, I okay, I'll put it to you like this, Drew. If they were to go that route, you will not get your same level of theme park experience if they have to worry about designing for animals mm. as well. Right. But I, I don't, from a frontier standpoint, I don't, that's never going to happen. Like, there's never going to be a, I, I don't think there's ever going to be a, uh, a, a just them set out to make a theme park zoo crossover. The only thing I could see happening is if they ever, like if they created Planet Coaster 2 to be cross compatible with Planet Zoo somehow. Yeah. But that just doesn't seem like a frontier thing to do. Right, not, not current know? frontier, cause um, I can already, no one in the comments, but someone will say like, oh, but Frontier made uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and they made Wild and all that. That was a different frontier. You gotta remember that was a frontier that was being bought out or hired out by other people, you know, essentially. This is a frontier that makes their own choices and they have to make business choices. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I think they're gonna split up all their games as much as they can to reap them, reap them money. Yeah, yeah, no way that they would, you know, kind of essentially cannibalize Planet Zoo sales if if to, to add animal features to a theme park game yeah right. like that's not the mo i mean we don't even have business degrees and we know that would be stupid right <laughs> hey what's up uh lion where would you up he said uh he uploaded his first team tk to plan co uh, planet coaster earlier today i nice. love the TK. it was cool um it was just I, rolled out just, crappy yeah, and I just, I don't, you know, honestly, I don't know if Planet Zoo ever gets a TMTK. It's, well, I can see I just, it and I can't see it because part of me is like, yeah, I, I, in Frontier's eyes, I can see them going, why would they want that? You know, yeah, it's, why it's would, not... why, why, you know, I mean, I could understand with a theme park game because, you know, they basically did it so people could keep creating scenery. 
after they were done uh, supporting it. Right. But with, you're not really, uh, it's just, I don't think Planet Zoo is set up for a theme maker's toolkit. It does make, it, like, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if they did bring it. I wouldn't be like, oh, my God, I can't believe they're giving us a team to, you know, it wouldn't be anything like that. But like you said, I just, for some reason, it just feels like they're not going to give one for uh, Planet Zoo. Hey, Leaf Productions just came in. Oh, God, not that guy. Let him in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get this like crown molding look right here. You know, one feature that Drew and I had talked about um, for a, for a while, and Max has talked about, just said it. If Planet Coaster mm. Two had a Parkitect style multiplayer, where we could oh, build yeah. at the same time with each other, we'd be streaming on Saturdays for like eight hours straight. Bro, dude, <laughs> it's for real. And we would just both stream. It does kind of feel like. They have to go in that direction. Not, yeah, a little bit have to because I me mean, with Parkitect and you know all that, like bringing that to light. Like, if you don't yeah, have it's like, that, it can be curve. done. Yeah, right. But that, and, you know, that that's what's kind of so interesting about Frontier, though. It's like, uh, do you know another studio that is like more indie, but like triple A at the same time? Well, they're you can tell they're trying it's, to make a big push into that triple A. Yeah, it's like they want to be a triple A studio. Oh, sure, yeah. But they're they still seem kind of indie to me. Like yeah. they're like they're not ready for that push yet. Not ready like for what they're time. what they're do what they're doing is great. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, we I mean, think about like I mean, I have over 3,000 freaking hours mm. in Planet Zoo. Right. But are they ready to, are they ready for that F1 game? Are they ready for Warhammer? Like, are, you know, are they, and one could argue the Jurassic series is, a. it wants to be triple. I mean, look how many different platforms well, it's, it's on. it's priced triple A. It's, it's <laughs> priced, it's priced older triple A. Cause remember triple A is switching to, these damn companies are getting, oh, they're switching God, to 69 dude. now. Right, like right. Uh, 69 is entry level well, now. Well, let's ask, is what people consider Frontier a AAA company with the future prospect games that they are for sure coming out with, you know, the Warhammer, the F1, and then also with what they have in the past with, I'd even include yeah. Planet, the Planet games. Elite Dangerous is a very popular game. Yeah, um, do you and all, Jurassic yeah, do you World. all, yeah, do you consider them AAA or double A? Like that's how I would that's how I would like categorize them right now. Like a double A like studio. Just about ready to Frontier's yeah, they're double ready, A. Yeah. Yeah, they're ready to be triple A, but they haven't had that breakout like where like twelve year old little shits know who they are. Hey, you uh, know, like Haiku. Good to see you, buddy. Sorry, I didn't mean you. You know, it's it's like they're just double A right now. But they really like good, dabbled really good in quality. Yeah, titles. yeah. So, but I, I do think by 2023 they might be considered like at least an upcoming like you know AAA company or like the, a AAA company with with the titles that they have coming out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the look I was going. For. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. That Stan said 69. He 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 he. I consider them a big company, but not a triple A. Sure. Knocking on the doorstep, though, right? That's... <laughs> Nick said Frontier is double A. I like... See, whenever we're talking about this, all I can think of is baseball right now. Like they're the... <laughs> like the Iowa Cubs right now or something. I missed that hockey match they did outside. Oh, like yeah. Like the big one. Yeah. Like that, that sounded cool. Like I am watching that next year. Do it, dude. Like yeah. a hockey match, like actually outside. And the reason I know that is because they must have, like, uh, old time hockey was there. My little TikTok guy that I watch. Uh -huh. um, he was there and he did a shot in his, his, it was looking up at his head. And I'm like, oh. They're outside. Yeah, it's that's it's, awesome. Was it in Notre Dame again this year? No, it was like in Minnesota or something. Oh, that's right. That's right. So I was say, like, damn. Say, say hockey. That's again. cool. Hockey. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you say it almost more northern than I do. Hockey, eh? You gonna go play some hockey, eh? <laughs> hockey, eh? <laughs> Uh, oh, guys, the Red Wings are having another disagreement. 
especially speaking as a blues fan. <laughs> oh, I bet you enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah. That was a really great game, yeah. You know Cybers is in on that uh, hockey action. Of course. She, she's right there with uh, Silver Fox and race car, and <laughs> they take that serious. Yep, you, you get north of Springfield, Illinois, and, and we get, it, it gets pretty serious up here with, with our, what was it? Say it again. Hockey? <laughs> yep. Um, my brother-in-law is like, is like dying to take me to a Predators game. Oh, you know, dude. Nashville has a mm -hmm. hockey team. I hate them. Like, they have a hockey team. <laughs> I, I hate um, them. <laughs> they, uh, he, he is he is dying to take me to a You'll love Predators it though. game, dude. The the Predators, as much as I do hate them, they put on a good show for for a hockey match. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, they're uh, they're ours, and they're actually Seabrus and uh, Chris. They're all of our rivals, the Blues and the Blackhawks. We all hate <laughs> the uh, Nashville Predators uh, a whole a lot. They hate the Predators. <laughs> yep, we hate you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cyber said he's learning hockey info from a guy who lives in a cedar swamp in the upper peninsula of Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he lives. He lives like in a cabin in the middle oh, of a swamp in Michigan. That's awesome. And his 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 uh, paddle for his canoe is a hockey stick. <laughs> Does he use that? That's awesome. Hey, it works. <laughs> no, I didn't hear that, Silver Fox. That's crazy. They said uh, Chris oh, lost buddy. some teeth. On us oh the... crap! Yeah, <laughs> remember, remember when he used to be in D and D with us? I do. Dude, remember when you used to be in D and D with us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was the like the funnest time I ever had in oh, D and D yeah. was like when you and I were brand new, and John right. T and John were like teaching us that first campaign. And duct tape era, Dev Devin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that was so <laughs> freaking awesome, dude. You gotta but come then, back. Like, we're starting Ted like, we... next week. We kind of got like, um, I feel like we kind of, I kind of got like too like comfortable, you know, like there wasn't any more like mystery to it. It was like, I was getting oh, like, Oh man, you left right at the good stuff. You got to come back. We're starting Hamilton uh, this Sunday. We need our big guy back. Oh crap. That's right. It's exactly. It's that time. It's time to get, what was, what was your guy's name? Um, the rock, the rock. We need the rock back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need our big guy back. We start Sunday. I don't know, man. I just I, I don't That's know cool. if I can commit to it. I know, you, know? you like, got the baby. I can't I can't break John's heart again. But, right, no worries, you know? man. <laughs> but I'll I'll be the little <laughs> devil on your shoulder. Like we need you back. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think uh, Savannah and them are starting uh, again tonight for their D and D. Uh, they have uh, Savannah. Oh, and they uh, Savannah and them do do um, D and D on Monday Mike. nights. Don't yeah, they? John, Mike, Savannah, John T, uh, Devin do it. I'm, I'm pretty sure is their group, and maybe a uh, Redline. I think Redline does. Dude, it as well. Mike, can, Mike came back and did an awesome uh, Kowali Zoo mm -hmm. episode. If really you haven't good. caught that yet, S yeah, it, really good comeback. That was for Mike. freaking awesome. Yep, yep. I was really happy to see him. Well, you know, he does that every single year. <laughs> He's going to be back now for, you know, two or three yeah, months. It's, you know, it's cold and it's, you know, he's probably like under four feet of snow right now. Yep. So we'll get a lot of content out of him until the until March, you know, so. until spring. <laughs> Everyone hope for a long winter in uh, uh, Montana. So, or, yep, let's hope he pumps out some videos and... Are we streaming you know? again? Uh, I have to talk to John about that, uh, Savannah, if we're going to stream or not. Oh, I covered that up. Um, I don't know. As of right now, I th I think so. But don't hold me to that. I'll um, message him after stream, actually, because I'm curious about that as well. Oh, I didn't add the little frilly dilly. Right but yeah, Savannah told us that, um, remember, she said, I just went ahead and messaged Mike, and I'm like, hey noticed you were in zoo oh yeah <laughs> just seeing how you were doing what what's going on what's and up? then sure enough he he boom, boom. Was, uh, jumped, jumped on an episode so that yep. was cool to see mike is kind of like our he's kind of like a godfather figure to us isn't he he just like transcends both what you need to do to make planet coaster and Planet Zoo look incredible. I will always like like Mike is one of those guys where he gave me tips 
on Shy Guy's world from the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 days that I still use to this day. Sure. And what was that? Maybe nine years ago, eight years. What well, Planet Coaster's been out for what six years? Six almost? years. Six. God. So we were interacting with Mike and John and Silverett and them for probably maybe nine years ago. Oh my gosh, and I a... still use tips from him from like nine, ten years ago. Well, from I'll, the RCT three days. I'll always be indebted in a little in a way to mike and john um and silverette for uh the bronation and everything because i was not building in this kind of style like you know with using an archer and trying to get that realistic feel like i was building like pirate coves and medieval like cities and stuff like that you know i was building how plan co wanted you to build quote unquote right and then i saw um uh oh my gosh why can't i remember the name of their theme park uh Oh my gosh, what the hell? Help. What's the name of their big theme park? No Anyways, Name saw, Landia? No Name Landia, yes. Wow, thank you. Um, I saw No Name Landia and it just was like, like I had a nuclear creative <laughs> bomb go you, on. You, you, got the, you, got that, you got that realism bug. Yeah, because I like I was, you saw that. I always so wanted good. to build like that, but I just didn't know like how. Like I saw, when I was building Planet Coaster, I saw like like we got the Wild West set, and I was like, okay, I must build Wild West building with Wild West set. You know, I was just so <laughs> stuck in like that way. And now that's like how we tell people, like you know, don't look at pieces how they're labeled, or you know, don't look at it like you have to use a classic piece in a classic building or something like that or a european piece for a european build like look at it like a lego box like you know just all those kind of things that we learned along the way like i learned from them you know my problem with the realism i honestly think my problem with realism is i can't pile enough on top of it like the design has to speak for itself as far as your roof lines go and the wall you pick mm -hmm. And it just seems like my style has to have layering. Like, remember how we always say my style is like throw Throwed spaghetti yep. at the wall and see what <laughs> sticks. You're the best at it. I, that's what stops me from realistic builds. You have to stop yourself. You can't do the, yep. you know, the stop giant short. trees growing out of the building. And, you know, it. you have to rein it in with realism it's you're talking lower budgets you're talking you know you just uh it's just a different different level of design that's what's so cool about what you guys do i need to make myself do that like i don't know what i can build realistic in planet zoo but we need to do it like some kind of bit like some kind of maybe i'll do an entrance for the workshop and just do it as like an S Dan realistic low budget zoo entrance. Well, I mean, you kind of did it with uh, Lost or not, not Lost Creek. What was that first zoo that you did? Pine Creek. Uh, Pine Creek. Yeah, you did uh, the realistic bit, you know, with Pine Creek there. Yeah, yeah. I kind of copied Zoo Knoxville's entrance a little bit. Sure. Of that. All right, here we go. Um, you know, honestly, I was gonna uh, tell you that I think you should keep this chamber build going that you started like you know you did your wizard thing i think you should you keep know? doing that but in like different styles and maybe just do like one off builds you know maybe continue that first one but i think you just got an eye for doing those like almost bringing the sims 4 into planet zoo yeah and, you know maybe we could do like an evil wizard like you know we could change it up like that but i will tell you kind of looking at the numbers no one cared. No one gives a shit. I, doesn't that suck, I mean, dude? I hate I that. I mean, you guys do. Don't oh, get me wrong. I love like, it, you, dude. You, you guys were like loving it. Like, and, and, you know, it did awesome on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys were oh, messaging me. I figured me. that was going to happen, but, too. That always but happens. But the, the general people could get, like, like, the general zoo people two shits could be given less. And I know that's going to happen with this build that I'm doing here, but it's just, I want to do this. This is a passion project that we know is going to get no clicks kind of thing, you know? Right. And that's kind of how I got so excited for the, uh, during the wizard build, but literally no one cares. Damn. And um, it was one of those things drew where like, it just so happened to time out, like Casey and the baby were at her mom's house mm -hmm. and they were helping her put up Christmas decorations. So like I was here completely by myself 
for like eight hours. I built on that that wizard chamber so long, like my hand hurt. I had to stop. He got carpal tunnel. Kind of <laughs> yeah. And um, it was just, but it's just, it just kills you when no one really cares. Right. Oh, no, it crashed. Oh, fuck, it did it. Ah, I've been having this happen lately. Um, Damn, did it freeze up on you? It's Yeah, it's been doing this thing where, and I know it's coming, and I need to recognize it, but I'll stop seeing the, like, silhouettes of pieces that, like, you click on. And then mm-hmm. after a while, when you hit Control X, it crashes the game. Damn. Um, I probably didn't lose too much there, so. Cheers, Leaf. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, Leaf is a prime example of don't give a fuck about the numbers. If you like what you're doing, the audience will find you, kind of thing. Because yeah, he dude, just makes... Leaf, Leaf is a number magnet right now, though, man. Like Leaf could upload a video of him reading names out of a phone book, and it would get like seven thousand. <laughs> he views. does have one of those voices. He's got that radio. Yeah, voice. He, yeah, he is just on it right now. You Leaf has freaking uh, Lost Creek, Lost Creek right now. Oh hell yeah! I can't wait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's Ooh, like actually, I told him just like totally surprise me. I don't want I any shots. I just I want to go in. Like I, I was telling Leaf, like film the episode and let me see it like that. Like I don't mm. even want you to pass me the file back until like you know. <laughs> Man, I lost a lot. That sucks. Damn. Yeah, I hate it's remember that happened to bug. us in Beyond Wolf a bunch too. Well, this is a you new had, kind of thing. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just I'll be playing like here, you we can see the silhouettes like when I'm clicking on things obviously. <clears throat> but yeah. that it'll go away. And then a few little bit later when I get control X or do something different, it'll just crash the game. And that's been happening since <gasps> Oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh Europe pack. So I have no idea. Damn. No idea at all. I'm going to raise this roof a little bit. It's a little bit too small. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Let me go get some sweet tea real quick. Oh, it's sweet tea time. <laughs> Never seen that crash before. Yep. No, I. it just started with uh, Europe Pack. I actually need to fill out that bug report. Were, were you all able to see that? I don't know if anyone even caught it, but were you all able to see me or see the silhouettes not showing up on uh, on stream there? Actually, I think you can rewind it. But uh, anyways, yeah, if you can, that's that's what uh, that's what's going on. And I'm not sure what prompts it. You know, it's not like there's anything that I noticeably do that like kind of prompts it to go. That's better. Let's just make it a little bit taller. Oops, keep that there, please. Thank girl, for sure. Do you all know that every single day around this time? A southerner has to go get sweet tea to live. If they don't get sweet tea by at least 6.30, they shrivel up and die. So yeah, everyone south of St. Louis has to drink sweet tea by 6.30. I normally leave Leafs videos playing on my secondary monitor while playing. It's better than music. Right, yeah, I do that for a lot of people. I'll just, I'll queue up a lot of people. You know, a lot of uh, videos. And I'll just let them fly. Let them play. And then I always forget to comment on them. <laughs> I always tell myself, like, oh, cool. You know, here's Leafs video or here's Estan's video or whatever. I'm like, I'm going to comment on it this time. Oop. Oh, I forgot I separated that out. That's right. It just auto plays to the next one. But I always leave a like. <laughs> At least do that. It's fine. I'm going to leave it. I'm being too nippy. Is this just snap behavior after one pointing? Hmm. Interesting. We've had many a sweet tea conversation. Yes, exactly. You did. You were confused why the uh, concrete wasn't getting highlighted. Yeah. Yep. That's the that's the signal. So okay, as long as you could uh, kind of tell it or see it there, keep an eye out for it. And I'm not sure really uh, what's prompting it, but yeah. Right, I'm flim, flim flabbing here a little bit. Flim flabbing with my build. Not really doing anything. Do 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 do. Oh, I just realized the uh, music ended. Aha. Uh-huh. 
play some music in the background. Ooh, that's really loud. That's really loud. One second. <laughs> it's gonna really when SDN comes back, it's gonna be really loud. Ah, now we're good. Now we're kicking. I told them that every southerner in the United States, if they don't have sweet tea by 6.30, they shrivel up and die. Yeah. It's like a... So see, it was getting close. It, you, you were close. You were cutting it close there, man. So, careful. Uh, luckily, my sweet tea sense kicked in, and it was like, <laughs> 6.20. <gasps> God, I'm going to die. I need sugar. And Dang, I should have made a peanut butter Miracle Whip sandwich while I was in there. <laughs> Get some bananas on there. Cut them up. Ah, that's all right. We'll be eating dinner here in a little bit. Uh, what, what's the traditional southern uh, dinner meal there? Um, Chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo said no southerner ever. Wouldn't it be like <laughs> country fried steak or something like that? You know, can't... Oops. Casey and her family love that. I don't. Not into it? And you know what they love, too, that I absolutely can't stand? They love roast. Oh, like, bro. you know, roast, like, with potatoes and yes. just, you know, like, just like in a big pot, like a big crock pot. Yes. I'm like, ugh. No Stop way. McDonald's or something. <laughs> oh, man. We're no longer friends. You you said you just said out loud for everyone to hear that you would rather eat McDonald's than a Sunday roast. Ugh. Yep. How dare you? <laughs> the only southern drink I can stand is moonshine, says Harry. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got some a southern um, dish be something like sausage biscuits and gravy or something. It, yeah, it, in the morning. In the morning, yeah, there you go. Yes. Hey, what's up, Becca Boo? Yeah, like the morning. We actually have the some of the best biscuits and gravy near me that we have is actually from a gas station. And I know that sounds just like redneck as hell, but trust me, <laughs> I have good sense of taste. <laughs> it, it's legitimately like the best biscuits and gravy you've had in a long time. And it's just from, yeah, a little Casey's uh, gas station. I, uh, you know, it's funny you say that because the best burger around here is actually from a gas station. It's called the Tiny Giant. Huh. And uh, actually, you know, they don't even have gas pumps anymore. It's just like a convenience, it's just like a rest stop. Oh, wow. And, uh, but the, like the lady in there has worked there for like 60 years and her burgers, my liver doesn't appreciate her burgers, <laughs> right. but they are wonderful. That's just like I used to tell my customers I'd have when I was a waiter at uh, Cracker Barrel. And they'd come in and be like, oh, this is, this is going to be good for my diet. And I'm like, you did not come into Cracker Barrel thinking about your diet. You get whatever you want. <laughs> is uh, SCN Southern enough for chicken and waffles to be a thing? I mean, we have chicken and waffles up here where I'm at, so... Probably. Yeah, it's here. I, I don't really do. I don't like I it. Did chicken, I did chicken and waffles in uh, Disney World. Where at? In, uh, like, you know where the like the Sleepy Hollow thing is? Um, in... Uh, oh, uh, not, yeah. Uh, not Frontierland, but... No, um, the, where Haunted Mansion and stuff is. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, know what you're talking you know, about. Yeah, there's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, there's a tavern in that little land section that um, they like the bread is two pieces of waffle and it's sandwiched with chicken. Nice. That's yeah, pretty good. Do you have a lot of, um, oh, what are they called? Waffle House. Do you have waffle houses near you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we don't have those. I don't have Waffle Houses, Rowdy. I, I saw this thing that if there's like a tornado warning or something and there's a Waffle House nearby, like that's, you're supposed to go there. Because they were like built to uh -huh. protect like through all uh, <laughs> like stuff. I can see it. I can too. 
Nothing's gonna knock over a Waffle House. I imagine like when people, like Europeans or international people think of um, the United States, I just think they think of uh, Waffle House. Yeah. Like what? me and you are sitting in a Waffle House like with our gun holstered, <laughs> like on our side. Yep. Just waiting Man. for, and uh, we're smoking. What, you know, just waiting for something to pop off? <laughs> smoking a cigarette and uh, what else? Drinking a Coca-Cola, having our beer, be beer bellies out. <laughs> it's quintessential Americans, you know. Oh, that bug is starting again. I'm gonna save it now. I'm just gonna, res I gotta restart the, that is so weird. Okay, let me save it now. Oh, there. Now it's not. Save, save. <laughs> okay, so saving it and like escaping, that seems to have saved it a little bit, but huh. I'm not sure what triggers that bug. I use a lot of plaster pieces in my builds. Yeah, Cybers, that's us too. Cracker Barrel's always like a road trip food. Like, I don't think we're ever, we're like, we're never hardly sitting around and saying, hey, let's go up to Cracker Barrel. Let's Barrels. go to Cracky Barrel. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just like, you don't usually just say that. It's no. like, you're driving like into Virginia or something and you're like, hey, let's stop and get breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Like when I worked there, my family would, you know, make more trips than normal to Cracker Barrel. But ever since I stopped working there, like we, I haven't been in years. I gotta think of just like recovering. <laughs> Speaking of what time Man, is it? Man, I had uh, I had fun in Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve last night. Did you get to catch any of that? Uh, no, I didn't actually, which was a bummer. But I saw the um, houses that you built, though. Those look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to jumping back in there. I got to get an idea for that. I, when I uh, when I had messaged you about that, like the amusement park wasn't even like really a glimmer in my eye. So I was like, yeah, let's just you know jump back into. Uh, Beyond Wolf, we'll get some builds in, it'll be a good time, blah, blah, blah. And then now I'm just like enthralled with this heckin' amusement park build. I've, I've like thrown everything to the wayside. I remember on your stream, you told everybody, you're like, now listen, this is me and S Dan, so do not get too excited because <laughs> we may build in it for like a, a day or two and then you won't see it again for six months. I, yeah, it's just the I'm reality. I'm like, that is totally us. Yep. I mean, I know it's not ideal, but it's I'm just being honest with everyone. This is how we roll. Gridded. Dang. So what are you going to get building? In? You're going to be building tonight, aren't you? Or you're not streaming, I know, but you're going to be doing some building. Well, I don't know because my cousins asked me if I could come in and help them with a... They're on like night 14 and seven days to die. Uh -huh. um, but they were kind of asking if I would... If I'd be able to come in and help them. So that's why I didn't really... I didn't really... Was, was not planning on streaming tonight, so... I probably will jump in tomorrow, though. I think we're going to jump back into the wizard uh, chamber tomorrow yeah. and try to do his bedroom. Nice. And now you're when you do that, like, wizard build stuff, you're not really caring about the exterior at this point. I think you said that in your video. It's like kind of... Oh, right, right. Yeah, it's just a box with all kinds of crap sticking out of it. Yeah. <laughs> if, you see the, if you look at the outside of it, it's just like, holy shit. <laughs> What's going on yeah. there? Yeah. But yeah, I'll probably go for about another, I don't know, 20-ish minutes, half hour. Yeah, I'll probably jump off here in a minute and kind of see how dinner is progressing. That's exactly and, what uh, it's time for here. Then I guess we're going to be killing some zombies. Is Seven Ways to Die a video game? Yeah, uh, Silver Fox, it's like a post-apocalyptic zombie crafting survival game. It's still in early access. Is it really? Feels like it's been in early access forever. It has. It's been it's been in early access since like 2016. 
Yeah, there's so but, many games um, like that. Like even like Day Z you know, is like an early. Yeah, access. but you know, there's so many games that like I'm like waiting for now. Like even um, it was cool because Savannah tagged me in their tweet a couple a little bit ago. Um, the uh, the farm folks people put what what creator do you think is gonna absolutely go insane with our uh, modular customization tool like as far as building the farm goes oh, yeah. piece by piece and she put me and they responded to her and uh, those devs are just like those Crytivo devs they're, okay there are no cooler devs out there than Crytivo devs like your, pre your prehistoric kingdom people the farm folks they are just oh, yeah, always they find, so they find yeah, the best are, developers yeah, yeah they're always just so humble and cool but man, Prehistoric Kingdom, I am having a lot of fun doing little one-off um, waterfall builds. But man, I've kind of fell in, I've, I've fallen out of it these these last like two weeks. Yeah, I, I just I want to like jump back into it, but me too. There's just there's not enough for me to build with yet. Right. You know? Yeah. It's yeah. It's. I don't know how to explain it either because we have all these tools and the scalability and you know this that and the other thing but it just right. kind of still feels it's empty. still missing yeah so i i do plan on jumping back over to my little dino kingdom and actually giving it you know a fair shot because i really didn't jump into the beta too too much but yeah again i think i'm just going to do the few habitats for you know what is it the 14 dinos and prehistoric animals that we have and then probably that, that's it i don't know like until uh until yeah, early access man. you know and maybe it's just me because like warpath and a couple of those people like they're they're putting out like incredible builds. right they are yeah but i'm just like for my style you know basically wanting to do like islands of adventure but with dinosaurs I just i can't do it yet it's just the pieces aren't there yet you know right i mean you know me i can squeeze a lot out of a little bit of pieces but it's just kind of still too bare bone for me right now yep no i agree I, I just think it like they keep adding so so much you know with each update and like beta added a whole bunch but yeah it just kind of still feels a little empty in there mm-hmm and I think the people looking really weird doesn't help. Like, there's just something about like there's something about mm -hmm. the planet zoo guests when they're in there that just bring it to life a little bit more, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, well, and I think you've mentioned it before too. The dinosaur animations aren't there yet. Like when you look at like Jurassic World Evolution two or Jurassic World Evolution, like you look at those dinosaurs and then like right now you you go into prehistoric kingdom and you look and you're like damn these things are i mean they look good but they're lacking right now right. you know it uh yeah that's another good point leaf the yeah the controls kind of feel like planet coaster that's yeah they just feel very <sighs> right i don't know how to explain it but it's i can't fly around and I thought that was just kind of a, I wasn't used to it yet, but you know, in this I'm like flying around, it's like really easy to get to menu to menu. And that one, it's kind of like a struggle. Oh yeah, and, and that is, that's the thing that really drove me away from it. You can't do this in um, Prehistoric Kingdom. You can't draw a box over specific things. Right, like, right. And that's just like, bruh, I need to do that like all the time. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and that's what happened to me with that last waterfall build. Like if you look at it closely, that waterfall needs to be lowered like massively, but like I already placed them and they're gone now. Like, yeah. like you can't, you can't box them in and move them. Like, you know, because I was too far into it and I was like, damn, I am not deleting all of this. Right. I'm just going to have to fake it with the rocks and just make it look like, and the controls and stuff are so cumbersome right now. It's like, it takes me so long to get anything done in Prehistoric Kingdom. Like, 
it just freaking takes forever mm -hmm. because they can't they're they're not letting me set the controls up how i want to right yet. so you're just fumbling around and yeah it just once you kind of get a groove going with it i feel like you know i like when i did my first episode of dino kingdom like i i had a good three or four hours where i was like yeah i'm i got the controls down they're not really fighting me like yada 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 but then there's other times you jump in and you're just like i can't get my idea on paper or you know i can't get it fulfilled right now so mm -hmm. yeah i'm just hoping uh they they did say and they've already fulfilled this promise but yeah they did say that they're uh giving us a lot of updates to look forward to um so definitely excited about that and yeah, hopefully, you know, just kind of gets better and better as time goes on. Forward to that first 2022 Planet Zoo update. Like, oh, I know we need what, it. What are they going to try to do, you know? Well, I hope they fix the restaurants and counters. Because <laughs> as of right now, me and a few others, guests don't use them. And it sucks. <laughs> I've never seen the guests use them. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you mean as far as uh, DLCs go? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Avian. That's that. It has to be this year, or we're never getting it. <laughs> I think that that's just we have to get it now that uh, Jurassic World Evolution Two got and everything. I think it's it's time for us to get some birdie birdies. And I would love to see like the aquatic creatures get expanded to include like sharks and stuff, and yeah, you know like that part of the zoo world you know yeah i'd like to see some uh fish as well just individual like like clown fish or grouper fish or you know something like that we almost get like planted aquarium in a sense um you know leaf and them leaf and lion rider they keep a good ear to like what's coming but haven't heard them mention anything about birds or anything yet I there you go believe. uh kiko or kaiko says uh avian is coming planet zoo 2.0 update you heard it here first folks and that does feel like it makes sense because i think uh the what was um aquatic pack update was it like 1.5 or something like 1. that 1.4 maybe okay like it. i thought maybe we were going to 1.5 I thought we were gonna get birds this Christmas time, you know, for the big Christmas update because we got aquatic animals last time as the big one. So I thought we would do that, but I was still very happy with what we did get. Leaf said we did get those prop eggs. We did. I'm saying Fr Frontier doesn't do things just for nothing. They know what they're doing, cheeky bastards. <laughs> I mean that is true. Like they're not just gonna. How about we just put some eggs in there? Random, give us, <laughs> right. give us some eggs. Oh, no, they, they know. You know, you got to remember the devs are humans as well. They definitely read the uh, forums and Reddit, and they know what we want. Yeah. They know. They're just playing with like, us. It's like, uh, it's like uh, Bo and Shantae said, like, we are everywhere. They are, and that's... We are, we, <laughs> we are where you don't even think we are. Like, as... I can 100% I can see in them making like burner discord oh, accounts yeah. burner oh, yeah. reddit accounts like they are one of like they're probably in yours savannah's uh you know they're they're probably, like i would be shocked if frontier com comms team didn't have burner discord accounts in your all's discords probably across everyone's you know yeah, you know, just, just a general to, tab just to on... keep a yeah, just to keep an like an, an eye on because they know like okay if Dahlia rolls up in or Dahlia rolls up in there, you know it, it could change. Maybe it wouldn't. Well, now Shantae could change... though, Shantae did have her own personal Discord and she would just be in like the Bro Nation would Discord she? and Day Ladies uh, designers and stuff like that. So I don't know. Bro Nation, Bro Nation, they, they can't be scared off by devs though. Like you're. They no. are what you see is what you they, they the don't, devs they are don't, kind of going into they, uh, their zone. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't care if like you know David Braben was in there. You know, it'd be like you're you're in the the, the wolves den now, brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother, oh, welcome yeah. in there, brother. Oh yeah, welcome to the cage, man, brother. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
What you gonna do, brother? This Sunday, there's gonna be two hits. Here comes for you, and we're not bringing any birds. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you, and you're gonna hit the ground. Those are the only two hits you're gonna hear. Brother, let me hear bird one more time. Just crack into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Maybe egg mechanic? Even Zoo Tycoon 2 had it. Now that's an interesting thing. Yeah, will they? Will the birds have eggs instead of bebes? No, no bebes, only eggs. Shorten that up a little. And after birds, like, is that it? Is everyone, like, going to be content after that? And be like, all right. Now you can start bringing us the, what's always the meme one that Leaf brings up? The, uh, the Northwestern Qu Avian Quebec pack or whatever. <laughs> the, the birds of Northwestern Quebec. I don't know. It's, it's man, a meme. Man, getting into the bird game, think, of, but, like, think of how it's going to ruin them with people saying, like, oh, my God, you're not going to give us oh, the, pfft, the I... Northwest Himalayan crow crack a towel, dodo <laughs> bird. That the crack tail. You. I need my crack tail. Where's the crack tail, dodo bird? So I need the like... western footed booby. <laughs> <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> We're like eight like, zero like... zero eight. <laughs> <laughs> they are like Frontier is punishing themselves from the moment on they give us birds because everybody's gonna have their own little niche bird. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah yeah. said, I will always want more animals. I will never be satisfied. I will never be satisfied. <laughs> True. Yeah, Kika, that's right. Yeah, after Birds Frontier will make Leaf's Aguti pack. Finally! Leaf made at least six Aguti for one community showcase, so now we need all the Aguti. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> Aren't blue-footed boobies found in the Galapagos? They are, Silver Fox. I know that from the movie Master and Commander starring Russell Crowe. I love that movie. But and... One of my favorite modded birds, like, to date, has to be Bongo Hardwoods. Um, is it like the American Ibis? Like, oh, the Ibis? Know, the little, the, the yes. little white ones that walk around? I put those in with Val and Earl in... Uh, in oh, Lost the, Creek? Yeah. Oh my god, man. Like, that was like an oh daddy moment. It just like put it over the top yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, just see it like, because they were like pecking around the rhinos and they were like following them and stuff. And you know, Val and Earl was just like walking in between them. Yeah. And the birds, like they were in the little mud pit just doing their own thing. I think the and only thing it, that would make that the best is if they could like jump on the rhinos' backs. Like they, oh, they do they in the wild. Oh, like, if they could interact. If they could interact with yeah, the Yeah, pick animals. off the bugs off of them and stuff like they do. Yeah, because that's what I was saying, like, as far as um, the hi the hippos go, if we could have, like, little fish that would follow them and stuff. You yeah, know, and, and, right. Like, little cichlid or something, you is know? Is that what it's called? Like, uh, what is that? Um, is that what it's called? They're called cichlids? That... I'm not sure. Cichlids are pretty territorial, but these are, like... I don't know what they're like. But have you seen them in zoos? Like, they'll put them in the water with the hippos. Right. And they, they Kinda... essentially, like, they... They They're feed just off in there of it. with them. Yeah, they feed off of them. Whether like they get all the little, or, they or clean them and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, or they're bringing their food into the water. Yeah, yeah. You always see like those little ambient, like little tiny fish, usually. And speaking of ambient, like that, that's the pack I hope we see, if not this year, but uh, soon. Is just like the ambient zoo pack where we get like. Here's a cardinal, you know? Here's a goose. Here's a duck. Here's some, here's some squirrels. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's a chipmunk, you know? And it doesn't have to be like a habitat animal, but just like add them in. You know, like how we, how we had in Planet Coaster with the pigeons that flew around? Mm. Like, just put like little sprite little things that just kind of run around randomly. Like, they, I got I could die, but you know, one thing, I could definitely see Planet Zoo before it's officially done being supported coming out with a backstage set oh, just yeah. because backstage is so important mm -hmm. to a zoo you know it's well and they have they already have all those awesome pieces inside the facilities like you know inside of the um let's pull them out the staff facilities you know they have all those like computer mm -hmm. monitors and the vet 
things and just man i would i was uh, asking leaf the other day because they're kind of able to pull um items scenery items out it, it seems like i was asking them if they can get some of these items like this locker right here oh my gosh could you imagine if we had a locker with a padlock on it the fuck out <laughs> like a little cabinets uh heater oh, above no. the door like why can't why can't they give us these little pieces they already have them you know? you know they already have them in game as yeah, assets somewhere <laughs> give us those little cabinets we could do little offices yeah the little monitors so yeah no i think that's a uh almost a a, a no-brainer there but yeah well, I've, I've said it about the ambient i mean even give it to us in vfx if you have to, you know, I wouldn't we can even stack, care. We can stagger them and make it look cool, you know. Yep, yep. Although they, you know, if, if what Jonti heard, and and mind you, this is all information uh, we heard from like 2019, uh, or no, even earlier than that, like 2018. Yeah, probably than that. Um, <clears throat> Jonti heard from people at Frontier, or maybe he didn't. No, wait, we're not supposed to say that. Anyways, <laughs> that uh, and, uh, animals are all going to be unique. Any animal that is in the game will be unique. So if you get fish, you, and you get a school of fish, each one of those school of fish will have a name and you yep. know how it it's doing. To, and yeah, it has to be like accounted for, and it has to be programmed, and it has to know where in the habitat. You know, like just like the regular animals, it has to calculate the boundaries and and I'm like, it doesn't have to. Like, yeah, can't that's... you? Like, you guys have awesome vfx creators let them do us some vfx fish right. and you know i mean you guys could do that like you're capable of it let's you could make that happen but that's and you, know, you gotta remember they also were thinking that way when they were like almost making planet um what did we used to say it was called like planet wildlife or planet safari or um, or, um planet uh uh, it was with the polar bear thing, you know, going on. And everyone was like, do you want to make Planet Zoo? Or do you want to make Planet, like, a Wildlife Sanctuary or something like that? Right. When when the polar bear um, uh, habitat uh, mass was, like, so grossly When it was bigger than the elephant area. And it's like, wait, yeah. <laughs> that's not correct. Um, you know, and speaking of that, get, give Frontier credit. Because, you know, I, I hear so many times, almost to the point of nauseam, Frontier doesn't listen. Frontier doesn't care. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, sure, there's some things that you could argue that with. But, like, to me, it was very obvious that Frontier had a, a vision for Planet Zoo that they completely pivoted from uh, based on our feedback. I Community really, feedback. Yeah, and I really think that they wanted to go with a more, uh, like, oh, shit, um, with a more, like, we were saying, like, Planet um, Safari or Planet, you know, wild, or a Sanctuary almost, but... Everyone was like, no, dude, I want to build a zoo game in Planet Zoo. So, and yeah, to their credit, I they changed it up as far as I can tell. Yep. I, I do not think the roadmap that we're on right now was the original vision. I, I just think they, uh, but you know, they, they listen to the feedback. And so I, right now, before I jump off here, uh, Planet Zoo, not counting Drew, who is literally playing right now. So this is a Monday at 7 o'clock East Coast time. We have got 5,800 people in game. Really? 5,800. Dude, that's a lot. Let me do Jurassic World Evolution 2. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> So 5,800 for Planet Zoo. 5,800. Jurassic World Evolution 2. 3,300. No Plan shit. Planet Zoo has more active Almost. players right now as we're all sitting Almost here in Jurassic double. World Evolution 2. Almost double the amount of Hold players. Hold on, let me, let me check Planet Coaster while we're here. Oh, huh? no. <laughs> probably not, Planet but it's probably not going to have that many, but... I guess Planet like coaster. I guess right 2000. Now, 2000. Seven o'clock. 2082. There it is. Yeah, I, I, it's been pretty consistent with about 2,000 hardcore players with that. That yep, just got 2, abandoned. 2,000 people playing <laughs> playing Planet Coaster right now. 2,000 abandoned people. <laughs> 
I Elder always, Day uh, will come. I was say I always try to remind Planet Zoo people that don't forget there's not going to be a big goodbye or anything. It's just one day. And one the, day the, they, you you will get your last DLC and not even know it. Yep. You'll <laughs> the three months will come by and you'll be like, all right, Planet Zoo or Frontier, what's our next thing? And three months will go by. Four months will go by. Six months will go by. You're like, where did they go? They don't. Why love are we me not getting? Why, why doesn't Daddy any love me DLC? anymore? They yep. don't ever officially come out and just say, okay, guys, it's over. No, nope, it's just like, hey. But I, I do suspect uh, you nerds will get your console version once do they're too. done. <clears throat> yep, I did fully, fully expect yeah, that. Yeah, th this, this game 100% comes to console probably 2023 probably summer of 2023 yep i I'd think say. that'll be a big year because they'll announce that and then i think after they announce that is when uh <gasps> excuse me uh planet coaster 2 gets announced yeah I'm so thinking. this 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 definitely will find its way to your playstation xbox switch yeah it'll it'll come one day yep i expect it but well, I'm actually getting texts from my wife asking if I'm, if I'm almost done because she wants to eat dinner. So, um, so yeah. All right, um, my little pumpkins. Well, I'm out of here. I got to go find something to eat, too. Nice. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you later. See you. No worries, but cool. All right. Well, hey, we got some fun chats, some fun talks, got some fun builds going here. I really like how this is uh, looking so far. Kind of had to funk around with it a little bit to... Uh, to get it going and everything but yeah no i think this is a nice little start there so the plan from here they'll enter in <clears throat> we'll have a few gift shops on either side oh no jay rask is here right at the end <laughs> we'll have some gift shops in here and then uh we're gonna have the carousel uh kind of let's see do i have that yes we're gonna have the carousel be the big staple here as you uh come into the arc it'll be like right down this way Shout out to Mr. Domez for making this carousel cover forever ago. But yeah, you'll enter into the park. Yeah, that, that's pretty nice. That's almost a really good location for it right there. Now I give myself a little bit of building room there. So, um, But cool. Hey, awesome. Thanks, everyone, for uh, hanging out. I do appreciate it, especially, you know, kind of doing some weird things here. Streaming late. Streaming a amusement park in planet zoo it's all it's all weird but yeah i'm gonna try and get a pretty sizable amount built for the first episode so do keep an eye out for it um it'll probably be um if not this week definitely next week but uh yeah as right now we have a lot of series going for the channel so it's a lot it's pretty fun we have um this right now benton amusement parks um we have the old the europe pack there it is the europe pack um, Planet Zoo, Europe Pack, Mini Zoo. Got it. Bam. Uh, we have that. We also have, um, I'll eventually get Pine Mountain Sanctuary back. Hey, Pine Mountain Sanctuary. <laughs> Is, uh, I wonder how that's going. Should probably check in with, uh, with Zoop there and see how that's going. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, a lot of fun stuff there. So, cool. Hey, thanks everyone for hanging out. Always appreciate it. Thank you, bots. I appreciate the bots for hanging out too because, you know, bots are people too, right? No, not really. Um, cool. Hey, have a good one, everyone. We'll talk to you later.